So then, why are we here now? Hmm, that's a good question. How did we get here? It's not exactly the five-star establishment anyone would be expecting for their weekend getaway. We're like ghost hunters. World War II to makeshift hospitals, which means that these aren't just cryptids, they're demons. Holy cow, this is getting really deep. Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome back to Think Reacts, where today I'm finally reacting to the game theory video for Roblox Doors. Now, I haven't watched this at all, and I know you guys have been begging for it for a long time, and I finally feel like I've played enough Doors that I can, uh, let's just say, constructively criticize anything that is wrong. I met Matt Pat way back before the pandemic at a creator summit and he has become and was at the time one of the most successful gaming youtubers and he had a lot less subscribers back then not even way more than me as always but uh but less than that uh, let's go ahead and like his video and if you enjoy think react you want me to react to more videos like this uh, do click the like button subscribe to my channel as well i'm already subscribed to his and as we get into it guys i do want to say that uh, as with these like even like if we go uh, and i'm not really like directly comparing game theory and game tunes i'm just saying that these are all ideas and uh, theories about lore in games created by fans of those games and in Matt Pat's case uh based on lore that he finds in game and in game dude's case is just like it's always just a guy that got turned into the entity <laughs> it's still fun no matter what and one more thing guys I am going to stop this video it is a 14 minute video so it's not one I can like go through and then go back to so I'm gonna stop it when I wanna say something uh, that takes some time and that I don't wanna interrupt him. If you wanna watch the original video without me interrupting and being super annoying, uh, I'll put a link in the description uh, and in the pinned comment so you guys can check out the original. All right, so let's see what horror games we have to theorize about. Uh -huh. Show me door number one. Well, I get it, cause it's still, uh, uh, hey! it feels a bit overplayed, still waiting for chapter three's release. Okay. What about door number two? <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, again, look, I promise the timeline's coming. It's just taking a bit longer than I anticipated. Spoiler alert, if your lore gets simpler, my theories get faster. <laughs> just a thought. Give me another week and we'll do it. Dude, it's like, okay, make it a few more weeks and I'll do it. But oh, right yeah. now, for this week, I just need something that's a little less complicated. Please say door number three has the answer. Doors? More doors? Hey, there now he this, is. This Bigger. I can work with. Nice. Hello, internet. Oh, Welcome to I like Game this. Theory. So, like, this is like... That I haven't watched his videos in, in, in a while, uh, but I love right here that he did enough research that like he put his logo in with the shaking and everything. He's played the game Dream a lot. The show that loves the fact that both door and lore rhyme. And today we're going to have Dolores? a lot of Dolores. Both. I'm of course talking about the hit Roblox horror experience doors. It's a simple title, which matches nicely with the simple premise. Each door okay. is numbered sequentially. Oh, and that's, your goal is to get through door number cool 100, hence the title. Not too hard, right? Wrong. Because while you go what? from room to room, you're being scared from a menagerie of evil entities that are trying to stop you from reaching that final door. All right, I'm going back to look at the entities. <laughs> Hold on, let's see if we he got them all. Okay, you got Timothy. And, uh, you know, he did say to door 100. And yes, that is accurate for now. But when floor two comes, it won't be just door, two, door 100. It'll be door 200. But we got Jack. We got Seek. Uh, we've got Rush. We have Glitch. Figure. I don't see Amb. I see eyes. I don't see Ambush. Okay, there he is. All right, I, I haven't seen Screech or Shadow. You mean to tell me the one entity that people hate the most? Screech? I'm scared from a of evil entities that are trying to stop you what? from reaching that final Timothy door. No Screech? Each entity's tactics range wildly. <sighs> One okay. forces you into an elaborate okay, chase sequence. The Another rushes through the current the area, forcing you to hide. Rush. Another will lock you out or kick you out of said hiding spots. And some are just there yep, for the good old fashioned spooks. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's the one you left <laughs> out. This game really has it all. Good scares, <laughs> good strategy, good puzzles. But of course, it wouldn't be a true game theory horror experience without, without the secret ingredient. Good 
Door. Ooh, That's right, a game about barfing. walking through doors in a randomly generated hotel has got itself some lore. The developers have actually said the foundations of the story mm. are basically in there already. They're just oh. going to be revealing it slowly with each new update, which of course immediately got my attention. So I waited patiently for the Hotel Plus update oh, that didn't was due we to come all? out in December. <laughs> and then the update yeah. got delayed. But, now, we've you know, all seen our fair share of unpolished games and broken updates in the last few years, so if the update needs more time... Hey, okay, No Man's Sky, give it SB, I think, like, okay, it was really glitchy in the beginning, but I enjoyed SB, okay? So if the update needs mm. more time in the oven, then by all means, devs, take the time that you need. Yeah, but no, in lieu of this Hotel Plus update, allow me to scratch that door lore itch. Because in preparation for the update, I started digging into the game that we already had. Plus the okay. teaser trailers and screenshots oh, so that the devs have given it. us. And I think I've got it figured out. The devs what? weren't wrong. The lore is absolutely Jack. there. It's just hidden deep. Real deep. Almost right, as deep as wherever it. we're going to end up in, in the Floor 2 update. So Okay! Again with the good research. So he does know about floor two and I like that he put it like down. He went he went down to floor two and not up to floor two uh, because the elevator that we are in actually. So does pack go down, your bags, so. theorists, mm -hmm. because we've got a one way trip through history, magic and a classic battle between good and evil. Let's check in. What First of all, where okay. are we? Obviously, it's hotel. a hotel, but yep. it's not really normal. And I'm not talking about the randomized layout. At first glance, it might trick you into thinking it's normal with a reception desk, bedrooms, yeah. hallways. Sure, the furniture reads a little old, probably from around the 1940s or 50s. But on the whole, mm -hmm. it's pretty standard stuff. Sure, one of the new teased images does look a little bit strange. St Wait, what? What do you mean one of the new teased images this is in the game now so was this made before the update oh no he's gonna have to update it because like this is this is this is how it looks now so he's looking at older stuff stone walls and big barrels but yeah it's most likely designed to be a wine cellar which wouldn't be unheard of for a hotel mm, okay especially yeah, as prohibition yeah. ended in 1933 in the u.s thereby yeah. allowing establishments like hotels to serve alcohol to customers what's Again, really odd is the before. second teased image uh -huh. the large room filled with it's, beds it's the infirmary from end. Yeah. maybe the hotel is able to offer cheaper rates if you're willing to bump no. with 10 other people in no, the same room it's, it's a hospital that isn't what the room's for oh, okay. along with the image we were given its name the infirmary yes. why on okay. earth would there be an infirmary in a hotel. I'll tell mm. you why. why. It's because that's exactly what hotels were used for during the 1940s, especially during World War II. During okay, that I didn't know. So that kind of goes with his theory that this is a hotel. I mean, with prohibition and what what uh, hotels were used for back in World War II days, that timeline lines up. So I'm thinking his theory is that this is a hotel that was built in the, I guess, During the war, 30s the country was 40s. in need of more hospitals for fairly obvious reasons. Huh. They didn't want to have to build Jeez. a bunch of new hospitals that would then become useless at the end of the war. So instead, they started working with private Hospital businesses centers. to turn their establishments into makeshift hospitals. Okay, if this was a doors room, <laughs> imagine like the, the door is here, like right here in the middle, and you got to get to that door and you got like rush chasing you and you got to go all the way. Uh, no, uh-uh. No, I'm glad and this is hotel And hotels were in. candidate number one for this sort of thing. They That's had fair. lots of elevators to transport patients and equipment. They had ding, lots of ding, rooms ding. for people to stay in. And best yeah. of all, because of the war, people weren't traveling, yeah, they weren't traveling. going exactly. on vacation. Yeah, so sense. the hotels were largely going unused. So while it seems weird to see an infirmary in a hotel, it's actually not outside the realm of possibility. That, plus the 40s style of furniture, tells yeah. us that what we're exploring here is a haunted hotel that was an active hospital during World War II. And given okay. the monster's room the hallways and the damage that we see across <laughs> various rooms it's yeah. unlikely that so he thinks figure did that i mean that's definitely possible i always wonder like with the scratches right here uh and, and the holes in the walls i wondered which entity created it and i've asked you guys before i mean you don't see uh claws on figures hands maybe he did it with his mouth but um but yeah he, he, he could definitely tear a hole this size. Anyone has occupied this place since. So then why are we here now? It's not mm. exactly the five-star establishment anyone That's would be expecting question. for the weekend did we getaway. Get but even if we wanted to check out, we can't turn back. And I do mean that literally. If you take a look at the bridge that we crossed to get here, you'll see that it's now broken. Now, okay, and then this bridge, now he doesn't have the benefit of uh, having played the new update. But this bridge, you guys recognize it from A1000, uh, from rooms. This looks very, very similar to the bridge that we crossed to get back into doors. Just 
uh, just saying that. Planks of wood just floating around in midair. Yep. Whatever's in this hotel, it well, doesn't red want us rush. to leave. But here's the real twist. We don't want to leave either. If you die during your playthrough, you'll be shown a death screen depending on what entity you died to. Right. These death Scouting screens light. are mostly there to give us hints, telling us how to avoid dying to the same entity again. However, the way these hints are phrased can be pretty darn interesting. Most okay. of the time it just says, you died to whatever entity. But yep. sometimes it screech. rephrases it slightly. You died to who you call Holt. You yep. died to who you call Ambush. You right. died to who you call the, the figure. figure. These right. entities don't have names, or at least none that we know of. The names that we're calling them are names that have been given to them by, by us. us. Something yep, that yep. one of the I knew I was going to say that. Um, yeah, that's my man. Uh, yeah, I was going to say that, uh, that, that the uh, developers have said that their names are given to them by the player. Which is hinted to that. And that is some deep lore right Where? there. What's also interesting is that these versions of the death messages occur during your first death to these entities. Which oh. means that we already have names for them before we've ever encountered interesting. them. Interesting. Apparently we already know about them and the hotel I before we've not ever stepped that. foot in here. But how can that be? Well, for that, we actually have to look at the game's history. During the development for Doors, before the entities were called entities, there was a different name being considered cryptids. Cryptids are okay, creatures cryptids. that yeah, some yeah, believe yeah, exist, yeah, but like have never tried have been stuff. proven to exist yep. by modern science. Think things like the Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot. If these yep. entities were originally going to be called cryptids, and the names we refer to them as were given to them by us, the player, then we must be someone interested in them specifically, also known as a cryptozoologist. And no, that's not just someone what? who works for Logan Paul's recent <laughs> NFT scam. Oh, a man. cryptozoologist is Ow! someone that's- You just called him out! <gasps> oh! Ow! Okay, that that that, that was a spicy burn there, man. Studies the pseudoscience of cryptids and commits themselves to proving their existence. And who wouldn't want to trust a guy dressed like this? We didn't come here for a nice weekend getaway, friends. We are here because we We're know like about hunters. these entities and we want to learn more about them. Mm. Only we may have bitten off more than we can chew. Not only are the entities very real, but they're powerful, scary, and above all, deadly. That is, yeah. except for one. Remember those death messages that I mentioned? The ones that uh -huh. are giving you tips and tricks on how to survive the hotel. Well, those aren't just meta messages from the developers. They're actually coming from another entity. Yep. Well, it might not be immediately obvious what entity it is. As you go through the game, you'll occasionally see blue sparkles show up around the map. They're normally around to show you the correct path during the seek chase, to show you which painting plays on a controller in which positions really? during painting puzzles, or to help illuminate the exit in a dark room. A guiding light, if you will. Which is funny because the title of the called. music that plays during those death screens is also called Guiding Light. This has led the community to give this mysterious bodiless entity that name. Although, I'm not entirely convinced that this entity is completely formless. While the majority of the rooms and doors are typical hotel rooms, there's a chance for special rooms to spawn instead. One like of those Jack? rooms oh. is called the courtyard. Yep. And it's unusual courtyard. because it's the only time yep. we're able to actually go outside, yep. feel the wind in our hair, the rain on our rain, skin, yep. and then remember that we're still trapped and have nowhere to go but forward. <laughs> Existential crises aside, this room is pretty much regarded as a safe zone during the run, which <laughs> starts to make a lot of <laughs> sense as you Except explore Except for when it area. isn't. Looking when around, I first played the update, large statue of an angelic figure with a sword in the center of the courtyard, yep. protecting it. In the Bible, we often see depictions of angels with swords, both used for battle and for protecting, but they're also seen to guide the lost, helping them find their way either physically or spiritually. Now, mm -hmm. what would that remind me of? It's guiding, guiding light, light, the entity yeah. that's trying yeah. to protect us. This <laughs> isn't the only time religious iconography is used within the game either. A handful of paintings around the hotel are parodies of religious artwork or have been named with more religious connotations, like oh, The Last okay. Supper or The these two called right. Temple and Tabernacle, respectively. One of the hmm. new items being added to the Hotel Plus update Skeleton is a key. cross. The oh. update trailer literally tells us well, the rules have changed while Crucifix revealing this item and showing it stopping the it, entity but yes. rush. But technically, just want to say this, like, uh, it actually is technically a cross. I mean, I know it's called a crucifix in game, but I think the definition of a crucifix, and I know this is like super nerdy, but I think a crucifix actually has to have Jesus on it for it to be considered a crucifix. And a cross is just a cross that shape and so technically it is just a cross you know what's interesting though and and the, since he's just going over the uh the the trailer videos look at the cross it, it looks different now like huh? well okay wait <laughs> let's go back to where that was uh yeah to where the rules have like to, to where the rules have changed um like it, it was in pieces and I thought we were going to have to assemble it, but I, we don't see those joints on the crucifix when we pick it up in game. Just something that, that I noticed. It 
is a cross. The update trailer literally tells us the rules have changed while revealing yep. this item and showing it stopping the entity and rush even there, dead in its see, tracks. Well, so yeah, you can see it's like to be sure, but it actually tells us together. a lot more about these entities that we're up against. The Christian cross is commonly used in pop culture as a weapon to ward off demons, evil yep. spirits, and yep. unnatural mm -hmm. beings like vampires, which yep. means that these aren't just cryptids, they're demons, or at least something linked to the demonic. Oh my. This in turn lends support okay. to the idea Don't that get any ideas. I do not want that entity in the game. Indeed guiding light, as angels are basically the exact opposite of demons. But that's not the only thing the cross reveals to us about the game's lore. Because well, yeah, a cross stopping a demon in its tracks oh, makes perfect that sense. The developers didn't just take the easy way out. It would have been simple for them to implement the cross and just have the entity disappear when you use it, or no. have it freeze in place. Instead, they don't do that. They extra yeah, mile man. And extra visual effects, which yeah, are definitely cool and add to the quality of the game. The but sound too, it's the really loud. Symbol they use here tells us a lot. Upon first it? glance, most viewers will probably recognize the main symbol yeah, I mean, as the like Star, Star of David, David. a yeah, symbol yeah. of the Jewish faith, which might seem odd when connected to a cross and its True. powers over demons, yes, but sure. actually that wouldn't be looking at the full picture. Widening out your view, you can see that the Star of David is actually enclosed in a ring with writing and symbols in it. Whoa, this how did he get all these with symbols the precursor and of The Star of the David, seal known of as the Seal of Solomon, a symbol that supposedly gave King Solomon the power to command the supernatural, including demons. And now now the pieces start falling into place. This symbol went on to become associated with the occult, but also with Christian, Jewish, Holy and Islamic Holy cow, alchemists, this is getting which really deep. the Islamic crescent that's being present at the oh, center of the star. And yeah, believe it or not, okay. but there's a lot of history with religious groups partaking in alchemy, specifically the whole turning lead into gold and bringing things to life from nothing part. It is some really wild stuff. In fact, it's that last one that's going to be important to us today. In the world of alchemy, when you create a living being from non-living things, that yeah. being is known as a homunculus. As the Stories go, they were made um, in a variety of ways. Me? Some are animals, while others are tiny little humans. Within Christian alchemy, the homunculus were supposed to be Christ-like, perfect beings made from nothing. But it would also grant its creator the ability to see and <laughs> converse with that demons looks hilarious. and spirits. Which, if you were staying in a hotel filled to the brim with horrifying yep. entities, I would imagine would be a useful tool to have on your side. So, oh no, 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 no! I don't want a well, jar with a little human in it. One entity or a homunculus. And no, it's not just because it killed me, even when I did what it told me to do. No. Oh. I, let's control your breathing. Yeah, okay, okay. I was I was pressing Q or E. No. You can only revive and run once. No. The figure always Did felt like the hunt went out. Most of these entities are ghostly figures, black and white with overly distorted faces. Seek may appear in a human form during the chase, but it's basically a collection of eyes and black goo. But the figure, it's a humanoid monster that's yeah. covered in flesh, it's bones, and teeth. Bag of Thematically, meat. the figure just doesn't feel like it belongs until you look at how a homunculus is made. One method to create a homunculus is to combine bones, skin, and hair in a bag, and then bury that bag surrounded by horse manure for 40 days. Dig it up that and hooray! Disgusting. You got yourself one stinky bag and supposedly a living creature. Now, let's just take a look at those ingredients again. Bones and flesh? It's a perfect match for our pal, the figure. That's well, why there's this no hair. He doesn't different. have hair. The figure isn't a spirit or a demon like all the others. It's an actual monster created using living tissue. Imagine okay, this. Okay, I mean, I get that. World War II but... is going on. People are being injured left, right, and center. A random hotel is transformed into a makeshift hospital in order to manage the amount of injured people throughout the city. People yep. are dying, agonizing okay. death and yep. their angry spirits refuse to move on. Religious figures in the community, like nuns, offer to join oh, in helping nurse these people yeah. back to health. But okay. not everyone has good intentions. It's World War II, after all. The Nazis are performing horrific experiments on the wounded. Experiments that'll fuse the injured, dying, oh and rotten flesh, bone, and hair to create That's not real, is life. it? The figure is born from these such experiments. Meanwhile, the prayers of the religious figures don't fall on deaf ears. They pray for divine intervention. They pray for an angel to protect them. And lo and behold, Guiding their prayers light. get answered. The guiding light traps the demons yeah. in the hotel, oh. mixing up the rooms randomly, turning the hotel into a labyrinth that these entities get lost within. The hotel eventually falls into silence and obscurity. Nobody left inside, nobody willing to enter. The only thing that remains are it's stories of strange creatures that roam the hallway. And some us. ghostly, some made of flesh and bone. Most people would steer clear of a place like this, but one cryptozoologist took interest and decided to make a visit to this hallowed location. Guiding light saw us and destroyed the bridge outside. 
side, stopping us from ever leaving. Oh. Not because they want us to perish, but because they know the secrets of this place have we'll to get out. hidden. Yeah. And that, my friends, is what I suspect to be the lore of Roblox Doors. Like I said at the start, this stuff was buried deep in here. But I'm really yeah. glad the developers are giving us some really interesting things to chew on, especially with all the new teased content they're releasing as part of the update. I am more excited than ever for this game. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if when they finally get around to releasing Floor 2, we end up seeing occult markings on the walls, the skeletons of dead clergy. Bob! He called Bob before... Was there ever anything dropped about Bob? <laughs> That's Bob! I mean, it's just a skeleton, but still, he totally called Bob. I'm impressed. Because <laughs> he couldn't have seen the update before this, and I don't know if there were any images of Bob before we saw Bob. You meant maybe even a summoning that's, circle with a big ooh, old pile of bones disgusting. in the middle. I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. In the meantime, remember, it's all just a theory. A game yep. theory. Thanks really? for watching. And as I said, it's a theory, and he's made some really good points. I guess that means from now on, I'm gonna have to call figure a homunculus instead of a bag of meat. But either way, I enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed my reaction to it, do click the like button, subscribe, go check out the original video. You've probably already seen it by now. And I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, new line.